Hey everybody, Jeremiah Craig here, and I have some sad news today. My band, Jeremiah Craig and the Rusty Crowbars, has disbanded. We are no longer a thing, and I'm pretty disappointed about it. Richard, our bass player, is committing more time to his own band, and James, our drummer, is going to be doing some things next year that didn't quite line up with the band, so it was just done. So it's, it's sad, it's sad, because I was really enjoying it and I saw a lot of potential there. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop doing music, you're just gonna see a lot more solo stuff from me. So I'm making this video today to let everybody know that my band is gone, but also to show you some more boots. Now, this directly relates to my band because I was trying to make a video about getting them cowboy boots and bringing them into the fold. JW Boot Company was making the Rusty Crowbars their first pairs of boots. Now, that has ended, but I did get my special Rusty Crowbars boots in the mail today. So I'm gonna be doing a quick review about them since we are still in giveaway mode. Consider this an extra video. What are the boots, you ask? Well, they are Red Cayman Square Toe with the Rusty Crowbars logo, the Jeremiah Craig and the Rusty Crowbars logo in the shaft. Woo! Let's get into it. Now I know this video started off on a sad note, but just look at these Cayman boots. They look great. And it's gonna be a nice reminder in the future that we did have a nice band for the moment. We only played three shows, but hey, there was a time when I felt like it was a great, great band and I had fun with the guys. So it's a nice thing to remember. Plus, these are just really good looking boots. I mean, this is by far my favorite pair from JW that we've looked at this month. And I know some of you guys out there are like, all we're seeing is round toe boots this month. What about the square toe boots? Here is an example of the JW double stitched welt wide square toe. They're using Cayman tail here, which can be kind of difficult to wrap around a square toe last without getting little bumps in here, but they did a really nice job with the last of this Cayman boot. Plus, look at the counter. Look at the, look at the fin on this counter. Isn't that badass? That is crazy cool. The red is really interesting too. It's not a black cherry, it's a red. Like black cherry is sort of purplish, I would say, but this is red, like it's blood red. That's what I would probably call this color. And it's really cool to see a color like this. This is a very unusual color that you just don't see very often. Sure, we see black cherries, but this is totally blood red. <laughs> the stitching in the shaft is really nice too. I mean, the detail in the logo is, it is really nice. I like it. And this is an option that you have with JW Boot Company. Since they don't make a ton of boots at one time, they only make boots when you order them, you have the opportunity to make slight adjustments to what the default boot looks like. So if you wanted to say, hey, you know, 
I have a logo or I want to write my initials on the shaft of the boot, can you do that, Blake at JW Boot Company? And Blake will say, yes, we can do that, which is a really cool service because it offers slight customizations to what you would normally get as just like an off the shelf boot. JW Boot Company doesn't even have a shelf. They only make the boots when you order them. So it's a really cool service. The goat leather that they're using up here on the shaft is slightly distressed. Sort of like they dripped it with acid or something. It gives this boot just a really grungy kind of rock and roll look. Just like all of the other JW boots we looked at this month, it's leather lined and the insole is non-removable. You have a leather lined top to it about three quarters or halfway down and then past there you have just like a cloth with some foam. I don't think we went over the bottom of this boot yet. You have a leather outsole with brass nails here and a leather stacked heel with a rubber heel cap. And on this square toe boot, we have a Stockman heel. One thing that I'm noticing on this boot is it looks like they tried to touch up the red color on this boot and it bled a little bit onto the welt. I would prefer it not have bled and that just be a clean tan edge on that welt, but it still looks good and you have to look really close to even notice the fact that there is a little bit of red bleeding onto the tan welt. All right, let's try this boot on. All right, so the boots went on a little bit snug. So this is an 11D. It feels like they lowered the instep a little bit more because I'm fitting in there much better at the instep of my foot. It was just a little bit different to step into from those other boots that we tried this month. Square toe feels great. I mean, you guys know, that's what I think the value of a square toe is. It feels like a slipper. There's just so much room in the toe box. The red color is really, really nice. Like, <laughs> some of you square toe fans out there, what do you think of that? The color is just so interesting. It's not black cherry. You know, it kind of reminds me of black cherry, when I first look at it, but then I'm just like, no. That is so much more red. It's just so much more of a blood looking. So much more of a rust, which is why it's so sad that there's no more band to sport these boots with. I like the fins in the back there, kind of like the top of the tail kind of gives the boot like a fin-like look. Sometimes I noticed when I tried these on quick out of the box, sometimes it seems like your pants might get hung up on those fins. You just can kind of pick them up a little bit and put them down if that bothers you. The natural looking leather on the outsole and the stacked heel is Definitely a eye-grabbing feature, which I feel like comes with the square toe territory a lot of times on the exotics, is that you'll have that white stitching and that tan-colored outsole that really makes the boot pop. It draws a lot of attention to your foot, and I'm really feeling that with this boot here. Awesome dress boot for special occasions, would be a spectacular boot for shows as well. How sad that they won't have the chance with the rusty crowbars, at least. That doesn't mean that I won't do it solo or with some other collaborators. Overall, this is my favorite boot that we've tried this month from JW Boot Company. The color is great. 
the stitching and the customizations that you can make with it is great. I like the grungy looking leather that they used on the shaft. It's, it's goat, but it looks distressed in some sense. And the Cayman just feels great. You guys know that Cayman is my favorite exotic leather. And the fact that it's red is just so damn cool. You know what I'm saying? I am a little bummed that some of the color bled onto the welt, but when it comes down to it, it's not really that big of a deal since you can barely see it. So sad that these boots will not have the chance to play with the rusty crowbars, but they are an awesome memorial to the band even existing in the first place. When I pull these boots on, I already know that I'm going to remember all of the good times that we had as a band, even though it was for such a short span of time. Maybe someday I will find a group of people to play with me on a regular basis, but for now, I'm going it alone as I've done for the past 10 years. So, are you with me? I have a feeling that you are. Thank you so much for watching today, and don't forget to enter the JW Boot Company giveaway. It's happening in just a couple of days, so you only have like 48 more hours to enter. That's happening on February 28th for your chance to win a pair of square toe Cayman boots like this, but without the logo, of course. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe to my channel and enter at the link in the description. I will see you guys around. Thank you so much for your support. Here we come, Boots and Ballads giveaway on Friday, February 28th. Three winners, what is that? Three winners for JW Boot Company Boots. Let's get it, see you then. Well, there ain't no more rusty crowbars. Ain't no more of that band's sound. But the memory of the rusty crowbars are in this boot as I play around. Thank you so much for watching today. Watch for solo shows soon. I'll see you around, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.